Hello, today I'm here with my weekly wax empties. Um, I have you guys in front of my, um, it's just my laptop, because I hate showing my carpet. I don't know why. Um, it just feels awkward to me, I guess. Um, so I thought I would try this. See how it works. Um, okay, we will start with what I think I have the most of. Um, that's Super Tarts. So this is Dorothy, which is cactus, sea salt, camu camu, and guava. Um, so this is fresh and fruity and sweet. Yeah, it's definitely on the sweet side, sweet side, but like a, a sweet, fruity scent, not like sugary. And um, I really like it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was like medium going towards, leaning towards strong. This is one that I would definitely um, repurchase. I wouldn't repurchase like a whole BAM of it, but I would definitely get um, a couple of clams of that because it was just really nice. Next we have Sharknado, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, ocean, rain, and peppermint, which is basically just jaws with peppermint. Um, so Jaws is like, it's a fresh scent, um, and it's okay. To me, it's, it's very, very, very salty, and then there's something in there that's kind of sharp, at least to my nose. There's like a sharpness about it that I don't, I don't know, this, like Jaws is kind and then it, I, th and then with this, it has peppermint in it. Sorry, guys, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, but I barely get the mint. I really don't get the mint, and it didn't really. It wasn't minty on warm. Um, it was medium, uh, leaning towards strong. Um, and with jaws, like these scents, like I never know exactly how I feel because throughout the time that I'm melting it, I'll be like, uh, I don't like this. And then I'm like, yeah, I do like it. And then I'm like, no, maybe I don't. I'm really torn on it. So every once in a while, I do pick up a clamshell, especially if they're, it's a blend of jaws that I haven't tried. Uh, but I've never actually bought a BAM of any of them, and I don't think that I would. Um, it's just one I get every once in a while. Because um, it is kind of nice, but then it's kind of too salty, and then it has that sharpness that I don't know how to describe. Um but the sharpness does go away after a while, after it's been melting a while. So yeah, that one's a little iffy for me. Next is Jessica Jones, which is Blackberry Rain. This was okay. This one didn't throw as well as I expected it to, and it smells really good on cold. Um, it just smells fresh and sweet from the blackberry. It's definitely stronger on the blackberry with like some freshness in the background um, but this was pretty light um, it was like a light leaning towards medium and it didn't last too long and these are my older this one's way older than those ones um, but those are still pretty old too so like these ones are like some of the last orders that I had made before I found out I was pregnant and stopped melting uh, but this one was even way before that and so I don't know if it was just old. And then the last super tarts is a bam bag of Finnick, which is sugar cubes and ocean waves. I love this scent. It's it's fresh and it's sweet. It's just it's beautiful. It's um it's so hard to describe, but it's just kind of like I mean, it's like ocean waves, you know, so like a fresh, aquatic, salty, but mixed with the sugar cubes. So then it gives it like this really good sweetness. And I absolutely love it. And the next time that they offer this, I will be purchasing it for sure. It threw well too. It was a medium leaning towards strong. But I do remember that in the past when I melted it, it was definitely stronger. Like it was like... A five out of five 
years ago and now it was more like a four out of five um but still good and i still love it so next we'll do um l3 waxy wonder and i have a sample which was zucchini bread um this was nice it threw strong five out of five in my son's room all day i really love her zucchini bread it smells nice it's strong and it, it lasts a long time and it's not super like um, yeasty or like super cinnamon to me like some zucchini breads can be to me this smells more like um, like a toasty um, chocolate chip cookie um, you know like when you bake a cookie and it's more more toasty and crispy like that's what that smells like to me and it's really good I would prefer it blended with stuff though I, I think it smells better um, blended um, but I still enjoyed it. I just wouldn't go out and buy like a huge thing of, of zucchini bread. Next we have um, Fizzy Soda Saltwater Mermaid. I can't remember the exact scent notes from Saltwater Mermaid, but it's basically just like um, a fresh, oceany type scent. Um, yeah, I honestly can't recall any of the notes. But, um... So this was nice. It was really strong on the fizzy soda though. Like it threw it threw strong, but not not like a super strong, more like on the lighter side of strong, if that makes sense. Um, but I mostly got like the sweet fizzy soda scent um, rather than the salt water mermaid. So that's probably not one that I would repurchase again. Next we have a scoopable in strawberry pound cake BBW type. This um, feels good, so good to have another one finished. I think I finished one last week or the week before. And these were my last two scoops from L3. I mean old ones. This on cold, it smells so good. And when you first warm it, it smells really good like strawberry pound cake. Which to me, strawberry pound cake always smells like pink starbursts. Um, but yeah, it, it throws strong and it smells really good and sweet. But I find, like with this whole scoopable, like every time I melted it, after I want to say like three hours, it becomes that strawberry chapsticky smell. Um, so I would not repurchase this but I did repurchase um I purchased a loaf in this um so yeah <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there I was I guess I was just hoping that the chapstick smell was kind of just from the scoopable but I'm starting to think it's all of her strawberry scents because the past few strawberry scents that I've had from her they do end up getting that weird smell to them after a while um so yeah next we have watermelon soda this was a custom i did a long time ago and it was not my custom i just um saw somebody else i don't even i wouldn't even remember who it was but they had requested it and i was like that sounds good so i did too this is good it smells like watermelon a fizzy sweet watermelon um soda it threw strong five out of five i melted this downstairs i melted this upstairs even in the bathrooms i only had a couple pieces left i threw them in the bathroom in my son's room and it did well uh, i will say that with only one warmer in my son's room their their room is a bit bigger and this was more like a medium in there with only one warmer uh, but in, in my living room with multiple things, it, it was strong. My kids love it. My husband loved it. Um, so I would definitely repurchase this scent again next summer. Then we have Sensational's Guava Peach. Um, this was really good. It just smells sweet. Slightly floral, like a floral, a tropical floral. And then fruity, like from the peach and the guava. It's just really sweet, very pretty. 
um, it was like a medium and I would definitely repurchase this again like if I see this um, the next time I'm at Walmart I will pick it up another good one from sensationals which was passion fruit banana and yeah it smells bright fruity this was medium leaning towards strong and it's just very bright and fruity you smell pineapple banana mango it's just um, a tropical um, fruity scent it was really nice and I would definitely repurchase that one also and then three for three sensational strawberry and cream love 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 this was strong five out of five it smells to me like strawberry jam from Goose Creek if you've ever smelled that it's delicious it's just a sweet strawberry it's so good I really love it um, I would repurchase this and I have the last time I was there I um, picked up another one and yeah this is one that I would always just like to repurchase it's great so next we have better homes and gardens and this is lavender and lemonade which is lemon sugar pineapple water lavender melon and vanilla scent notes <laughs> vanilla scent notes so this one's good it's bright and fruity and you know lemony and sweet it's strong I get like a nice strong curl from this um, it smells like sweet lemonade with some pineapple and sugar in the background it's so 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 good like I just I was just smelling it it just smells so good I get no hint of lavender I've melted this a lot and I say that every time I do not get lavender from this at all um, but it's just so good and I don't know if they still have this out because at my Walmart I haven't really seen it recently um, and I think that I only have one more clam of this so hopefully they'll bring it back next summer and then we have my last one which is Better Homes and Gardens also oh no I'm sorry I still have two more over here they're like getting mixed um so this is just um really really sweet um it's ooey gooey sweet it's very strong on the butterscotch and the maple and it's creamy I like it um I will say that this was my son's pick though um he wanted this for his room so I would melt it in there for him whenever he wanted uh, it's very strong, 5 out of 5. It, so yeah, it's just a really sweet, sweet scent. But it is nice. Um, and I'm kind of used to sweet scents in my kids' rooms. Like, from their picks, you know, they always like to have a sweet scent in there. Or like when they're home on the weekends or whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I probably, I, this is my second time I've purchased this one because this is the second time he's picked this one. So I'm sure I will repurchase it again in the future for him. <laughs> Next we have Ocean Breeze from Goose Creek. This was just okay. It was like medium scent. It smells kind of laundry to me. Definitely like salty, aquatic, but with like some fresh laundry in there too. Even though it doesn't claim to be, I, I really get like a laundry note from it. But it wasn't anything special nothing really stood out about it so I definitely wouldn't repurchase it and like I said the throw was just okay it was medium but I would have preferred it to be stronger because I melted it upstairs um, when I was cleaning and I really like to have strong scents up there that can like come out of the bathrooms and you know into the hall and into my bedroom because I can't have a warmer in there as of right now because of my my youngest daughter so now the last one we have is teddy bees which hmm, sorry guys I keep losing my voice in these videos and I don't know why it happened in Odessa's video that I was recording that I still don't even know if I'm gonna upload because I was losing my voice and like hacking so much that I'm not sure if I should upload it 
Um, so that's why my voice might sound a little funny. But this is lavender honeydew, which is... <clears throat> okay, I had to get a drink of water. <clears throat> so, lavender honeydew. And this is lavender, vanilla, coconut milk, honeydew melons, and fresh linen. And this is that... Um, the lavender that I don't like, where it smells kind of like sour coconut milk mixed with lavender, and I just very powdery, but it's mixed so well with the honeydew and the linen that um, I really couldn't tell, and I'm not a hundred percent sure. I feel like it's the same lavender, but it might not be. But I kind of feel like it is but she made it bearable in this one um this is actually nicer than i thought it would be uh it's it was very very soothing uh the first time i melted it i melted it downstairs in my living room at night and it was strong um five out of five but i started to get overwhelmed with the honeydew scent of it after a while so that <clears throat> so then the next time sorry you guys the next time I melted um, the last pieces of it upstairs in my son's and the bathroom. And um, it was a lot nicer in there because it was strong. It, you know, filled up the upstairs. And it, um, yeah, it just wasn't as overwhelming when you're just in like one room with it like surrounding you. So it was really nice and soothing. Um, I would think about repurchasing this one. Um, but if I ever did, it would literally only be in like a um, souffle because I just couldn't see myself reaching for it regularly or needing a lot of it. So, um, yeah, that is my last empty for the week. I feel like I did pretty good um, this week, um, better than I did last week. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.